Hello friends, welcome back to Sabir CAD. In this tutorial video, I'll explain the procedure to create this figure and I'll hash this figure using some interesting hash patterns. In fact, this is a beginner's tutorial, but I'll be explaining the best practice to create this figure. So this tutorial may be beneficial for those who are already working in AutoCAD. So please keep watching. Before exploring the topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my YouTube channel SabirCat if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell icon to get instant updates on my future video uploads. Thank you. When you look at this figure, you can see that it's made up of an outer square and there are four circles at the corners and there is a shape which is made up of lines at the center. So let's see how to create this. I'll start with the square. This distance between the centers of the circle is 100 units and the radius of the circle is 11.5 and the same radius is here. So it's 11.5 plus 11.5 plus 100 will be 123 which is the side length of the square. So let's create that square first. But at the same time you can see that the corners of the square is filleted with the radius of 11.5. So let's start with the filleted square. So I'll click on rectangle command and I'll go to the fillet option and I'll give a radius of 11.5. Then I'll pick the first corner over here. Now I'm asked to define the opposite corner point. So I'll click on the dimensions option and I'll give the dimensions as 123 as the length and 123 as the width. And I'll click to define the opposite corner point. Now you can just double tap the scroll wheel to get the zoom extents. Now we have created such a square. Next I'll create the circle as well as these lines. The diameter of the circle is given as 10 units at 4 places. So the radius is 5. And this dimension is given as 40 units. That means this width is 40. And this entire figure is symmetrical about horizontal and vertical axis. So from the geometry of the figure, it is clear that this dimension is 20 and this is 20, 20 and this is 40. Likewise, you can complete this entire figure. So let's continue with that. I'll go to circle command, center radius option. Just turn on the O snap if it is off. Now you can get the center and type the radius as 5. Next, I'll start with the polyline to create the inner figure. And I actually want to start a point at a distance of 40 units from the geometric center. So in such a situation, you can very well make use of the from point option in object snapping. So you can shift right click and take from point option. Now from point will ask you locate a point based on any reference point. Now it is asking for the base point. Base point is the geometric center which can be obtained by tracking or by using shift right click and choose geometric center option and you can choose the geometric center of this figure now it will ask you for the offset offset is the distance from the reference point I'm going to define that using polar coordinates so I'll type at the rate 40 means with respect to the reference point at a distance of 40 units and less than means angle 0 this is polar coordinates if you need any clarifications related with the different methods of point plotting, please click on the link provided at the comment section of this video to get an idea. Now I'll turn the ortho mode on and I'll type 20, then 20 leftward, then 20 upward, then 20 leftward again, then I'll give an enter. Now what I'll do is this is a symmetric figure so I can create the remaining portions of these objects using the mirror command. So I'll click on mirror, choose these two objects. This is the base point. Pick a point right underneath to define the vertical axis as the axis of mirroring. Now you are asked whether you want to erase the source object. Just give an enter because I don't want that. Now just give enter to repeat the mirror command. Select the entire objects. This is the first point on the mirror line and the second point on the mirror line because it's a horizontal axis. Now give enter. So the figure is created. Next we can hash this figure. 
Now let's take a short break. I'm happy to inform you that I've got another YouTube channel which deals with technological tips. The name of the channel is SAP Tech TV. I have provided link at the comment section of this video. Please visit that channel and subscribe to it. You will be getting a number of technological tips from that channel which will be beneficial in your day-to-day -day life. For example, you can learn techniques to copy huge file to pen drives and removing password from a PDF file which is already password protected. The best YouTube downloader app. The technique to send file from a mobile phone to a laptop or to a PC through Wi-Fi. You can learn such things from that channel. So don't forget to visit and subscribe. Thank you so much. Before hatching this figure, I'll change the object color to red. So I'll select the object, I'll press Ctrl 1 and I'll change it to red. Next I'll give the hatch command, I'll type H. I'll choose a hash pattern ANSI 37 and I'll pick an internal point. Now the scale has to be changed, so I'll give a scale factor of 50 over here. Next I'll change the hatch color to this particular color. Then I'll change the background color to this color. So that area is hatched. Next I'll give hatch command once again. And this time I'll choose the solid fill pattern and I'll pick an internal point inside the circles. I'll give an enter and exit the hatch panel. Next I'll go for a gradient hatch. So I'll type hatch again and I'll click over here to choose a pattern. You can just scroll down. When you look at the gradient patterns, we have a different types of gradients like linear, cylindrical, inverse cylindrical, etc. I'll choose spherical gradient and I'll pick a point over here. Next I'll change the color of the spherical gradient. I'll take the outer color as this particular color and let yellow be the inner color and I'll close the hatch creation panel. Hope this tutorial was useful. Though it is a basic tutorial, you must have got a number of useful informations from this. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button of this video if you liked it. Until I catch you in another interesting video, bye bye and take care. Please click on the link provided at the description section of this video to join the WhatsApp group Sabircad. You know that AutoCAD software has got wide range of applications in the area of engineering, architecture, product design, 3D printing, etc. And this WhatsApp group is a worldwide AutoCAD user group. You can support each other and you can get your queries answered. I can also help you to resolve your queries and enrich your knowledge in CAD. So do join this group by clicking on the link provided at the comment box. I once again request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel Sabir CAD where CAD training is made easy. Also don't forget to visit sabircad.teachable.com wherein AutoCAD 2D 3D is taught from basic to advanced project based. You can also learn 3D visualization using AutoCAD 3D, 3ds Max and Adobe Photoshop in this website. Once you enroll the courses you will get lifetime account means there is no deadline or time limit to complete the courses you will also get all future updations of lessons for free you can get all your queries answered through whatsapp chat and mail